I'm Joe Biggity, and you can quote me on this shit. FFGN News. Local, fair, honest, and balanced. What the fuck else can you ask for? Hi, and I'm Joe Pickety. Welcome to FFGN News. Today we're going to talk about Ware Shoals High School. Yeah, it looks nice, and it was pretty fun to go there, and I'm pretty sure all of you agree that went there. But what about the fucking education? What what are, what are their kids getting? What does their kids get from this damn place? The number one education in the in the top ten schools. Ware Shoals is number one. Saluda's number two. Abbeville's three. Ninety six is four. Newberry's five. Greenwood six. Lawrence is seven. Clinton's B. Edgefield is like nine. McCormick's ten. I said that. Clinton got a B, or whoever said B got a B. But Ware Shoals got an A. So, big one up to the Ware Shoals High School, you fuckers, is doing the damn thing over there. But now we want to move on to this fountain. They want to put the, fill this thing up with concrete and make it uh, some kind of stage. Who the hell is going to perform on top of concrete anyway? And I don't think it's going to be too big, big enough to do anything with. And, but... It's 45 years old. Most things considered antique after 25, so I think it probably could be considered historical since it was one of the few nice things the mill put in the town. And I'm pretty sure it be probably could be fit into the budget of the Catherine Hall. And plus, you probably could get the people if you ever do get the damn people to fix the Catherine Hall to throw in the fountain over there for free. Anyway, the election's coming up in November, I believe it is. So let's. Get to voting for a new mayor and get some new people in there and see what goes on in this little town. I'm Joe Pickety and this has been FFGN News. Have a great fucking day. She will do 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 do